What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and expose my team because you guys have been requesting it for so long. So here we go right now. Look, pretty much right now, what we're doing is this. We went with the Mike Vick. If you didn't see what happened with the Mike Vick that I had, he was the 90 overall, upgradable to a 91. I think I had him running. He had decent stats. Uh, his, his throwing stats and everything were very similar to Big Ben's right here. Um, but he was just a bum. You know what I'm saying? I put the full video out. You guys can go watch it to see exactly why he was raged. Because he had, you know, like the throw short was the only thing that he was in the 70, the high 70s with. Everything else was fine. More throw power, more speed. He's just a bum, bro. Like, I don't, don't even at me. But if you do want to at me, at me at G Myers World. But that's neither here nor there. But bottom line is Ben Roethlisberger is still staying. Um, I will tell you this, though. Ladanian Tomlinson is a bum. But feel free to use him on conservative in coaching settings. And he won't fumble the ball. But he also won't break tackles. So I don't know how useful he is with that. Um, when I leave him balanced, he breaks a lot of tackles, but he also fumbles a lot. So what I'm probably going to do is kind of mix and match it with it, depending on how the game is going, just to make sure. Because you're going to need some fluke. Everybody gets some fluke in Madden. So if you leave him balanced, he's going to do a lot more. Conservative, he won't fumble. Second string, none other than Tevin Coleman. And the reason for him is not only is he a team leader, but 90 speed. 90 speed, 88 acceleration. The juke move is pretty decent. Trucking, 80, whatever like that. But he's, pr he's pretty good with that. And also, he on conservative, it works very, very well. You know what I'm saying? So that's why those two guys are there. Um, pretty much Amari Cooper's there. I don't have uh, Devontae Adams in my lineup anymore. That dude is straight garbage. He is the, what is, is he the journey master? I think he's the journey master guy. Um, where is he? The dude is so bad. Yeah, this guy right here. This dude is so bad. He will drop every ball. I'm, I'm very disgusted with him, actually. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to want to utilize that. Uh, I definitely wouldn't do it. But it's up to you guys. You know what I'm saying? But he's out of my lineup. I wouldn't even have him anywhere near near your lineup. This guy right here is just an outright god. Odell Beckham Jr. Um, listen, this dude, just don't press him. Don't ever. That 92 speed is not a joke. That 89 release is not a joke. You know what I'm saying? That acceleration at a 92 was not a joke. You are going to get what's you're going to get what's coming to you. And then we can just go ahead and look at Randy Moss compared to him. The one thing that I'll tell you though, right? When you have these two receivers, people are going to have to choose whether they're going to blitz uh, you know, regularly or not because these guys get open. Randy Moss and OBJ gets open very very often. All right? I will also explain this to you. Randy Moss's run block is very disgusting. OBJ has a much higher run block, so if you have both of them, always make sure if you're running those tight plays, like the tight formation single back with one receiver, that you keep OBJ out there instead of Randy Moss. I know he's 6'4", I know he has a 90 speed, but it's not the same way with just throwing the ball in the air anymore like it was in Madden 17 and 16. You know what I'm saying? They'll, on competitive mode, 9 times out of 10, they'll intercept the ball, All right, unless you're running an actual route. So be careful with that. Jason Witten, you might be saying to yourself, why do I got such a slow poke? Um, well, pretty much I can't afford the new grunk, so he's there. But Jason Witten, he has very, very short hands, and the biggest thing about him is his run block at 76. Very, very good for a starting tight end. A lot of these other tight ends don't really have decent run block, and obviously I keep the other guys in for speed. Like uh, Evan Ingram can't catch worth anything, bro, but I have him in there because of his speed, all right? And then the last guy there, nobody really cares about him. Um, who was that guy? Uh, Zach Miller. He's just there because he has decent run block as well. Larry Allen is still there. Morgan Moses is there so that I can upgrade uh, my mutt master Sean Taylor to be at a 96 overall because he helps with my uh, Redskins cam. This guy, Ali Marpet, I probably have to get rid of him. The biggest thing that I've been noticing, right, his strength is very, very low. So um, I, I don't know if I'm going to probably have to replace him. I'm, I may have to replace this guy with Corey Lindsay because... What's happening is, let me just explain something really quickly. The strength matters a lot at center. If you're running the ball, dudes will block shed you instantly and come right in um, and just completely blow you up in the backfield. Now, he does have the go deep chem that's helping me with OBJ, and I'm trying to increase that. It also helps with throw power and things like that. But I'm, I'm going to let you guys know. If you can get someone with higher strength, strength is very essential. The higher the strength, the better the center and the better your run game, all right? So just keep that in mind because a lot of people won't tell you that, but I'm letting you know. It don't, like I said, you could, when you run into me online, I want you to utilize all the things that I'm helping you with to beat on me, bro. So that just helps my game. You know what I'm saying? Helping you guys, you know, that watch my videos and want to get your team better. You, you focus on strength, man. Now, this guy was a team leader. That's why he's there. I didn't want to go out and buy another left guard, and Taylor Lewan has been pretty solid for me, 
but I might end up getting rid of him um, because sometimes he just doesn't do the job, but he has a decent strength at 85. You can still see that he's stronger than uh, Marpet, but, uh, you know, I'm looking for, yo, higher strength. I'm telling you right now, and the same thing for the D-line. With the D-line, the higher the strength, of th them dudes are block shedding instantly. Now, looking at this right here, the way I have it, I have this Zach Brown there. He's also a red skin because you need three of them to, uh, you know, upgrade Sean Taylor to a 96 instead of a 95 as a regular Mutt Master. So that's the only reason that I have Zach Brown in there. He's definitely not utilized. Deion Buchanan for his speed is out there. Julius Peppers, he's out there. Straight hot hands, blanket coverage, Cam. This dude is going to pick you off. Anthony Barr is there just to be tall and just to, you know, do whatever he's doing. Nigel Bradham, uh, during one of the streams... We decided to get him as a team leader uh, with my full stream. That's like It's like a stream that I put up. It's like three hours long. If you guys wanted to look at the way that I deciphered all the team leaders and things like that, I did it with the stream on YouTube. So you can go ahead and skip through that to the parts that you want to. You don't have to watch the whole thing. But it does have a couple games and a lot of good... Um, it, a lot of good information that can help you be a much better player in Madden 18 Ultimate Team. But uh, he has great zone. Uh, and th that's pretty much what we use him for. That, that You know what I'm saying? His zone coverage is play recognition. Let's go down here and I'll show you his zone coverage to know why he's in there. So I sub him in sometimes on the D-line. If I'm going to sub my D-line with a hot blitz, he has an 85 zone coverage. So that really helps out. All right? Just in case you're looking for... Um, you know, a team leader that you want to get. Eric Berry's a goon. When he picks you off, he's going for six. Doesn't matter. Listen, I'm telling you this right now. Doesn't matter. When he picks you off, he's going for six. It does not matter who you're playing, what's going on. If the dude didn't take a shower last night. Like, it don't matter what else is happening. Dudes are going back for six with Eric Berry. All right. Stephon Gilmore plays pretty well. I'm probably going to get rid of him, though. I don't want to let the cat out the bag, bro, to let you guys know who I'm lurking for. But I might have to get rid of Stephon Gilmore for a guy that's just like a straight goon. Uh, but I, I'll keep you guys in tune with that. Frank Clark, man. This guy right here, strength-wise, 84, pretty decent for a left end. Speed is good. Uh, like I told you guys, sometimes I'll sub him out depending on what I need. But he's really, really good. His finesse moves is kind of low. Power moves. But this guy, it's something about him. I don't know what it is. Because you see how he's in like an 85 block shed, 85 power move. He doesn't play like that. He plays like he's in all 90s. Uh, Don Terry Poe, we had to move him to second uh, the second string. Sheldon Rankins is just an outright goon, bro. He's just an outright goon. Uh, 67 speed, 86 pursuit. He's ready to go. Doesn't matter. I really like the way he plays. Strength 82 is pretty low. I was going to put uh, Haloti Nada in there, but Haloti Nada is just, I don't know. You know, you know what I'm saying, bro? I... I I might end up putting him in there too, bro. Like, I don't know. I might I might end up doing it. I might have to put a Lodi Nada as a starter, bro. And just say, you know what? Let's see what happens with it. Because the strength factor is pretty huge. But Sheldon Rankins makes huge plays. Especially with all that more pitch and toss and stuff like that. He comes right to the backfield. If you, uh, you know, crash him out at the right angle. Miles Garrett, outright goon. That, that's all I got to say about him. Strength 91, 81 speed, dude's a goon. Like, I, we don't need to go into that. I don't need to say anything else about it. I just want to see him get out on the field in a regular season game. He's been injured. We'll see what happens with that. Um, Marshawn Lattimore, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, this dude has a 90 speed, but I don't really utilize him anymore. I might have to get another corner. I might have to put Jason Verrett there. I might have to put Jason. Let, let me see. Look, yo, putting Jason Verrett. Uh, I don't really like the way that looked, though. I, I, don't, I don't like that. No, nah, no, nah, Jason Verrett, get, get out of here, bro. Like, you know what? I'm going to keep. Uh, maybe maybe, uh, maybe maybe keep uh, Thin as a backup. So we just have all 86s across for corners pretty much. Um, and then uh, I'll probably yeah, put Marshawn Lattimore back there because, he you know, whatever. We only sub him in on blitz packages anyway. And Bradbury, he almost cost me a major game. I might have to get rid of him very, very soon, but I don't know when. But just keep your eyes peeled because this guy's really playing around me. with you know, He's just doing wild things, man. And, you know, we, we're not Rihanna. We don't want wild things going on right now. But his zone coverage is high. If we could have got him to like about a 90, that would have been better, but... You know, it is what it is. Let him. We, we're going to see what's going on with him, but I'm just letting you guys know he might not be there with the next exposed team lineup, all right? Um, now, going to Marquette, Marquette King. This dude is a goon. He does have a new football outsider card that's even better. Uh, you guys might want to check that out. But when he punts the ball, he punts the ball the entire field. And it's only an 84 kick power. And he punts the ball all the, the whole 100 yards. The guy's a savage. You know what I'm saying? Caleb Sturgis, he's pretty good. Um, I would definitely recommend him. In the, he makes 50 yarders. You know, 50. I think the, the longest kick I made would have probably like a 54 yarder or something like that. So he's a pretty decent kicker. Um, you know, he's probably going for a decent price right now. I'm not sure what it is, but 
it is what it is with that. And then other than that, I got LaDainian Tomlinson and Sean Taylor returning kicks. And, um, you know, that's pretty much where the team is right now. Now, as we go forward, I'm going to try to give you guys an update weekly. Let me know if that's good enough for you guys or you want it every time I do something. I don't know what it is, guys. But I'm going to try to get it more out because I'm really um, I'm happy that you guys enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? And, and you want to see what I'm doing with the team. But I, sometimes I just rage sell people in a matter of a moment. So I don't know if you guys are going to want to know that as soon as I'm rage quitting. But I mean, not what am I mean rage quitting? Rage selling somebody immediately because dudes are garbage, all right? And once you screw me over, you're not safe. The only person that's safe that screws me over that I probably won't ever get rid of is Randy Moss. Everybody else, bro, dudes will be on the bread lines ASAP. So you can at me if you want. Dudes will be gone. Let me know how you want me to do it. Do you prefer more, You like, like you know... Uh, as soon as I just can't take it anymore, I'll let you know what's going on, or do you want it weekly? Leave it in the comments, we'll vote on it, see what we want to do, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, one love.